Are we all in? I think we're all in. Everybody, thank you so much for all your hard work. From the bottom of my heart, EPAC appreciates it. We are going to kick butt like butt has never you been kicked kick before. <laughs> okay? And thank God for all of you. Thank you. And God thank bless. You. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I'm uh, Vince Burns. I live in Binghamton, New York. Uh, I work locally here as a carpenter. This is the house I've been working on. We finished this front apartment and this guy just moved in. What's your name? Ken. Hey, Ken, how are you? I'm Vince. Does Vince remind you of any historical figure? Uh... What's very handy about it, working by myself while I'm doing this play, is that I can play Jesus Christ Superstar all day long and there's no one saying, hey, you're gonna play that again? Oh my God. Do you think I could play the part of Jesus Christ? No, Jesus is black. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Tonight is our opening night for Jesus Christ Superstar, which is um, my first play, my first rock opera. Um, but I've known this music since I was 11 and we used to do it in our basement. Uh, and I landed the lead role, I guess, because I can sing. And I had the look, you know. Jesus was the man. It's the Christians I have a problem with. But I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna talk to those people. And I'm gonna make them hear what I have to say because I don't think they're hearing anything. Where are you from, Ken? I'm from Staten Island, New York. Are you really? That's great. I'm gonna have conversations with them, which is different than how I felt before I started this, this rock opera. I recommend all my family to move up here. That's I'm right. I'm trying to get them up here now. Oh, good. Bring them up. <laughs> yeah. We need more people here. Everybody left. My family has lived here since the 1840s. It's my hometown, uh, where I was born. My pickup truck died on me. This is my pickup truck now. It's a depressed area, and the recent um, economic uh, downturn in this country and the world didn't affect this area that much because we already lost all our jobs. But uh, I'm still here. They can't outsource my job. I'm one of the few. It's not coming off. It's too scrunched up. Is it? It needs to be looser? Thinking about Jesus Christ every day is not something I've done ever. And it's definitely had an impact. I think that the story of Jesus Christ, regardless of your religion, and whether or not you believe in the miracles, if you learn the story of Jesus Christ, there's power in that. He was the light, and he, by example, and he wasn't afraid to say what he thought was right. I've been very hopeful so far. What I've learned thinking about Jesus Christ every day for two months is to love the people that you disagree with and to talk to them because you're not going to change the world by arguing with them. Jesus disagreed with what was being taught in the temples, but the, he didn't not go in the temple. He went in the temple. And um, for many years, I wouldn't go into St. Patrick's Church on Leroy Street, where I grew up, where I was forced to go to church every Sunday. And I wouldn't go in there because I didn't feel the love coming from those pews. But I think now I'm going to go in there. Now there's a sign of the times. The church door is shut. And when I was little, these doors were never shut. I have got no kingdom in this world. I'm through, through, through. What's the hardest part about playing Jesus? The hardest part about playing Jesus? Um, 
It's not hard at all. It's easy. What about the whipping and beating and all of that? How does that impact you? That gets me ready to stand alone if I need to. The emperor is wearing no clothes. I'm gonna say it. You have nothing in your hands. Any power you have comes to you from far beyond. Everything is fixed and you can't change it. I don't care what happens to me. I've already lived this long. Crucify him! Crucify! 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 I don't, you can't take anything away from me because I'm not a rich man. Rich people have to keep their mouths shut. I don't. Five! Six! You can't take anything away. What are you gonna take that stupid car away? That piece of shit? That's about all I got. I got that in my house. I thought you were talking about Jesus. I am talking about Jesus. But you're talking about your car in your house. That's right, but isn't Jesus a personal thing? We're all Jesus. And Jesus just realized that he was the Christ. He just realized it. And by saying it, wasn't that a little egotistical? You know, shouldn't you be a little more humble, Jesus? You know what? We're all a little egotistical, but we hide it. So those that stop hiding it, what we're supposed to hate them for? Go ahead and hate me. I love myself. You know, I may, I may have a bit of a Jesus Christ complex if I keep going this way, but. It's only while this rock opera is on stage until you know, and then on with life. <laughs>